Hi, welcome to Dwayne's Guitar Lessons. I'm your instructor, Dwayne Jenkins. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a question that I get asked often by uh, people just getting started with the guitar. They always ask me, which one do you think is better? Getting started with the acoustic or getting started with the electric? Well, it just kind of depends. I think there's there's up, down, upsides and downsides to both, okay? Um, if you're just getting started out and you really want to play some rock, I would highly recommend the electric, okay? The electric is a good guitar to start off with because for, for a few reasons, and we're gonna look at the upsides and the downsides, okay? So the upside to the electric is the fact that it's got smaller strings on it and they're easier to push down, okay? Plus you got an amplifier that electrifies the guitar, so that way, you know, you don't really have to even push on the strings very much in order to get a sound out of it, okay? You can just push them down real easy. Once it's plugged into an amp, and you can get started real easy. Just easy to push the strings down on it. You know, easy to hold chords if you want to play some chords. Very, very easy. Easy to get started with, okay? And then, you know, especially like when, when you start playing some, some music with it, you know. Start learning your chords and things like that, you know. stuff you want to play that kind of music that, that rock music that we all like to play uh, I would recommend starting with the, uh, the electric sorry about that w recommend starting with the electric okay it's just easier to play now the downside to electric is it's a little bit more of an investment because you have the amp and the cable um, you know the gig bag the strap all that stuff and you can get those what's good about it nowadays is you don't have to buy it all separate you can just buy like a package you know, at the store or online or whatever where you get everything all together ready to get started. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I remember a long time when I first started out, they didn't have that kind of stuff. And so you had to buy it all separate and it was kind of expensive. But nowadays, the price has really come down and you can buy it all in one, just one package deal. So if that's what you're looking to do, I would highly recommend starting off with electric. You can start off with something like this one's pretty simple. This is a very basic um, electric guitar. This is Ibanez Geo. This is a really good one. You know what I like about Ibanez is they're Less expensive guitars even feel as good as some of the more expensive ones. Uh, and all the manufacturers have that. They have their intro intro uh, guitar and then they have their you know more expensive ones. So I would recommend starting off with just like an introductory uh, package deal. You can get them. Fender have them. Ibanez have them. Um, there's some different other models out there. Just kind of find what you like and get started with that. Okay. Now let's now if uh, playing that. If you say, well, you know, I like to sing and I want to strum some, some chords and just, you know, have some fun, maybe, you know, take the guitar camping with me or something or just take it over to a friend's house or something, then I would recommend starting with the acoustic guitar, okay? Now, the thing with the acoustic guitar that's great about it is you don't need anything else. All you need is the guitar itself, maybe a pick, you know, or you can play with your fingers, you know, strum some chords, you know, do a little singing, you know what I mean? anything else you don't need a cable you don't need an amp you don't need nothing I mean all you need is a guitar maybe a pick or two and you're ready to go so it's a great a great thing to do the downside to the acoustic though is number one it's it's as you can see it's a lot wider than the electric so when you play it your arms kind of out here it's away from your body um, it's a little bit more of a boxy instrument to play and the strings are thicker as well, and they're a little bit harder to push down on and try to form chords, okay? And if you're gonna be playing the acoustics, strumming acoustic and singing, you gotta know your natural chords, you know, your G, your C, your D, your A, your E, you know, stuff like that, okay? And those are, chords are a bit tough to start off with, they really are, they're, they're um, I remember when I was learning a long time in books and stuff, before the internet was real popular, I don't think the internet was even around back then, it's uh, how long I've been at it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, I just basically learned from books, I try to learn from some friends, and you know, they tell you, put your fingers here, and do this and do that, and then you would do it, and it would just like, it would just cramp up my hand, and it would just, you know, it would just be kind of, uh, it just wouldn't be that much fun. But eventually I kept doing it. You know, I started off with the electric and then I eventually got acoustic and started doing that. And uh, eventually, you know, you get it down. It's not easy to begin with playing these natural chords, but if you work on them, you'll eventually get them. And that's what I did. And after a while I got it down and got to where I could strum the, 
the uh, shun the chords and make it sound good, you know, where I wasn't muting all the strings and stuff and getting a lot of this stuff going on, which is kind of the problem when you're starting off with the uh, acoustic is because you have to really put the your tips, play on the tips of your fingers, okay? And the strings are, like I said, they're thicker, they're a little bit harder to push down. So uh, you're gonna have to work a little bit harder, I think, if you're gonna start with the acoustic, okay? But if that's your thing, if you say, I wanna strum chords and I wanna sing like this, you know? Then yeah, then start with the acoustic by, by all means. Start with the acoustic and just go through that learning curve. And if you need some help, you can check out my website. I've got some uh, insights there on how to get started with an acoustic guitar, as well as electric too. That's at DwayneSGuitarLessons.com. And uh, but that's that's basically what we're looking at: the upsides and downsides of the two. So if you want to strum some chords, you know, start with the acoustic. But you know, in reality, I would say start with the electric. Okay, you can probably get electric because it's just going to be easier to push the, the strings down. Just can be so much easier to push the strings down. Now if you have already have an acoustic, then you know, then maybe stick with that. But give it a shot, try it out. And if, if you find it too difficult, get you an electric. You're gonna find very, very easy that the electric is just so much easier to get started with, okay? A lot of people think there's kind of this myth uh, back and forth about, you know, some people feel the acoustic is, is better to start with because it builds up your calluses and builds up strength in your fingers, which yes it does, but the downside to that is that if you get so frustrated that you can't get a decent sound out of the instrument, you're going to want to quit and stop playing it. And you never want to do that. That's like, you know, that's the worst thing possible. So don't do that. That'd be like suicide. You don't want to do that. So if you have an acoustic, try it out. See if you can get the chords down. You know, I've got some videos here on my channel that'll help you out with that. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know. And you can let me know if you if you try to play some guitar yourself. Leave me a comment below and let me know what is a what what experience have you had with the guitar? Did you find that uh, playing the electric was easier? Did you find playing the acoustic was easier? Have you have you even started playing them yet? Okay. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I appreciate. It. I'll be happy to answer your comments because that's what we're here to is help you to learn guitar and uh, make that decision. You know, decide for yourself. Maybe go to the music store and. Play an acoustic, play an electric, see which one's easier. I, I can guarantee you the electric is going to be a lot easier, but if you got your heart set on the acoustic, you say the acoustic is what I want to do, you know, the people inspire me to play guitar or play acoustic, then by all means play acoustic, okay? Just be prepared for going through a little bit of a learning curve because you're going to have to play on the tips of your fingers to get these types of chords down. And they're not the easiest thing in the world. You can do it though, okay? You can do it. And I'm here to help you with that. So if you need some help getting over that learning curve, you let me know. And that's what I'm here for, to help you out, okay? So let me know what's best for you. And like I said, acoustic or electric, doesn't matter. What matters is what it's best for you, what, what you prefer, what you like to do, okay? What kind of music do you prefer to play, all right? And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You have yourself a good one. Until next time, take care. Thank you.